You can use PTC MathCAD Prime to generate datum coordinate systems, points, and curves in Creo Parametric. It's pretty neat. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in PTC MathCAD Prime. I've written a program where you enter in the number of points that you want. You also enter in a height and a radius, and you'll get a spiral that will increase in radius and height for a given number of loops. And so here I have it, I say, hey, give me 200 points and I want a height of 10, a radius of 2.5 and four loops. Now admit, I screwed up the math somehow in the program where I'm not getting the correct number of loops, but that doesn't matter for the sake of this. Here's the evaluation of the program. And so I'm getting a matrix with three columns in here. So that is what you could use for generating points. Let's take a look at how to generate a coordinate system. Your matrix is going to be four by three. And first off, I like to figure out if I have a correct origin for my right hand rule. So I'm gonna start off by creating a variable O and I'm going to have that equal to, I use the definition operator, which is the shortcut of the colon. Let's put in a matrix. I'm going to do a three by three matrix, and I'm going to fill in some values here. And the first column is the direction of the X axis of the coordinate system. The second column is for the Y direction of the coordinate system, and the third one is for Z. So let me try entering in here. Let's put in zero, zero. I'm just using the arrow keys to move along. And then let's try zero, one, zero. And then one, zero, zero. And so essentially what I want here is the X axis of the coordinate system to point in the Z direction, Y stays Y, and the Z axis is gonna point in the X direction. So I don't know if this satisfies the right-hand rule. So if you take the determinant of this square matrix, if it's a positive value, then it satisfies the right-hand rule, I believe. That's what I found to work. Oops, I put in the number zero instead of the letter O. Good reason not to use the letter O. And here we see that it is a negative value. So let me see, what if I change this from one to negative one? Now I have a positive determinant. So this should be fine for the right-hand rule. If your origin doesn't satisfy it, then it won't be output as a variable that can be read into a prime analysis feature. Okay, so that's good. I like this. I'm going to select this and I'm just going to control C and then control V. And now I can use this for creating another one. Let's change this to be called CSIS for coordinate system. And I need to have a, another row to the right. So let's insert to the right. And the last uh, column is going to be your origin of the coordinate system, where you want to locate. So the first three columns determine the orientation of the coordinate system. The last column determines the location. So let's just use values of five. I want it at five, five, five. I'll just plug in those values in here. So that is good. For your output variables, you need to evaluate them. So let me just do CSIS equals. And so when you have an evaluation math region that can be used as an output to Creo Parametric. Let's go to the input output tab. I'm going to select this region over here and then choose assign outputs. And there you can see it says out over there. Let's go to show in list. And here we have it's got an alias in there. Uh, normally comes out as OUT. But here, since I already plugged it in once, uh, I can call it points. That'll be the alias for this one. Let's select this one over here and then assign as an output. There's the default name out. Let's call this CS4 coordinate system. So that is good. Now I can save my worksheet. 
let's hop over to Creo Parametric and bring this in as points and a coordinate system. Okay, here I am in Creo Parametric. I've just got an empty model over here, no geometry. To bring in the information from MathCAD, I'm going to create a prime analysis feature. Go to the Analysis tab, Prime Analysis, and in this dialog box, right now it's firing up PTC MathCAD in the background. You saw it flash there for a second. Let's load in the file that we want to use. Here is the MathCAD worksheet that I created. I'll click the Open button. And in this particular case, oh yeah, it brings it up to the front of the screen. You can just minimize it. Here we have the inputs that we can send from Creo Parametric to MathCAD Prime. In this particular situation, I'm not going to send any inputs. I just want to get some outputs back. And I prefer to go to the Add Mapping drop-down list and change this to Prime Variable. That way, when I click the plus sign to generate a row, it'll open up the Output Selection dialog box. And here are the output variables. Here's CSIS for the coordinate system. I'll select it and click OK. And then hit the plus sign again. And this time from the Output Selection dialog box, I'll grab the other output, the points. That's good. Let's click the OK button for that one. Now I can click Compute. And again, it's not going to have any values because, again, we're generating datums. And here we have another option. If you are generating datums, you could have these points and the coordinate system come in with respect to a different coordinate system than the default coordinate system. But here we have the option checked for using the default coordinate system. Let's click the Add Feature button, and I'm going to call this Datums because it generates my datums. Now I can close this over here. Let's turn on our datum point display, and right now it's cluttered up because of all the labels of the different points in here. I can go to the View tab and turn off the labels for the points. And so there you see all the individual points that are being generated. And here is the coordinate system that was created. And if I went to the Analysis Measure tab and measured the distance from, or just select the coordinate system, there you can see that it is at the location 555. And you can see that the X axis is pointing in the negative Z direction relative to my default coordinate system. So that is the coordinate system. Here we have the different points. If I want to have a curve through the points, edit definition of the prime analysis feature. Here we have the resulting datums. I will expand that. And here is a line for the curve. Let me expand that. And here create is set to no. If you double click on create, you could change this to yes. Here's where you can change the name of the curve that will be generated, but I'm fine with that. By the way, names these with this underscore followed by a number for the points in the coordinate system and for the curve. That underscore, in this case 370, that's the feature ID number of the prime analysis feature. So I will hit the check mark. Now it is recalculating, reperforming the MathCAD analysis. And there we have the curve. Let's turn off the display of our points and our datum plane. And there I have the curve being created through those different points. And again, with the program, it's just creating a spiral that's increasing in height and increasing in radius along the way. And so that's how you could use PTC MathCAD Prime to generate a coordinate system, datum points, and a datum curve in your model. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.